We're here with another Men's Ice Hockey Coach's Corner. Coach, you've been, you've been talking all year about the team needing to compete this year and have it playing a tough schedule. And this weekend you had a very tough two games against Nazareth and Utica where you really competed for five of the six periods. Talk about what you saw on the ice from the squad. Yeah, I think uh, it was a good weekend. You know, there's a lot of positives from it. I know the scores, obviously, you know, against Naz, uh, a couple of power play goals, gave up a shorthanded goal, probably not the best uh, way to go about a game. But, you know, overall, I thought we played all right. We had some good and bad moments. We're kind of up and down. We got a lot of injuries right now. And then Saturday, uh, obviously, for two periods, I thought we competed pretty well. And the third, we kind of, I guess, the train a little derailed a little bit. But, uh, you know, like every we talked about, you mentioned is all the competition that we've played all year and the teams we play uh, all year are going to be tough regardless of whether they're at the top of our standings at the bottom, the top in the country. Uh, you know, I think we've played four ranked teams now in the country, so it's been uh, it's been a pretty good you know second semester start, and then we're looking into this weekend uh, at Elmira and then home Saturday against Love Valley uh, to have another good weekend. Like you mentioned, this weekend starts the second rotation of conference play with starting at Elmira on Friday night and then home against Web Val on Saturday. Elmira is a very good team. They're coming off a loss to Stevenson, but they won seven straight before that. Talk about them and what it's going to take to go up there and beat them this weekend. Yeah, I mean, their top line uh, seems to be a common theme uh, in our league, especially. But their top line is, I mean, they're, I think they have two or three, I think two All-Americans in the, in the passing. They had the player of the year last year as a junior, and now he's a senior. Uh, that top line that's all seniors is definitely their, uh, their bread and butter there. And uh, they, they do a great job. And Elmira has always been a good team for a, for a long time. Uh, they just play hard. They compete. They have, uh, like I said, their top line. I think they're almost they're all over 100 points in their career, um, and uh, they're, they're going to be tough. And, and I think it's going to just come down to uh, discipline against them, staying out of the penalty box, uh, and hopefully competing for 60 minutes, and then seeing what happens at the end of the game. And looking forward to Saturday. You're back here at the row. And you're going to be facing Lebanon Valley, who is probably looking for some revenge after you beat them earlier this year. And you have a pretty good history with them, with three of the five games being decided by one goal. Talk about them and what it's going to take to beat them again. On yeah, I, th I think we match up pretty well against them. Uh, we did, obviously, you know, like you talked about earlier this year, beating them 2-1 down there at their place. And then last year, uh, overtime, I think we scored eight seconds left or something like that. And then, uh, lost over time, but I think we match up well against them. Uh, it's going to be the same thing. Whoever shows up, plays hard, is going to come out on top. And I think you know the way we practice this week. Obviously, like I said, we've had some injuries uh, the last few weeks that have kind of put us put us back a little bit. Uh, we're hoping some guys can step up and step in and into the lineup and really help us out on Saturday night. And come out with a win. All right, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you and good luck this weekend. Thanks.